All right, to recap on our fourth of four double dailies, 2.5% playlist videos of the day and yesterday, to bullet those two and the, the cover these two for today. We are falling on this topic, which is not supposed to be a topic because I was going to make like a three mega video topic for the fourth one if I could. But at the very least, either way, whether it's a mega bonus video with extra topics or not, we're going to at least talk about the tarot readings I've been listening to lately. And then if possible, we are going to talk about the... Let me see. What would I do after tarot reading? I want to talk about... Because I'll talk about power ups, capoeira, would, do you ever wonder if? And then this is going to be about tarot readings. And I'll get straight into that right away if I, if, until I realize that there's more I can talk about. So, yeah. Um, tarot readings. I listen to way too many of those. I listen to way... Especially recently. In these recent month or two or so. The recent weeks, recent months. It's like... Not even too many months. But, like... The re tarot readings, I started... Get, I, I started off by, like, looking at, like, the... Uh, Piscean Energy tags on Twitter. So, I, a long time ago... A long time ago... The f first I got in with horoscope before I even got into astrology, if that's even the same thing. The first I got in the horoscope was just less, less, what, reading the newspaper for the horoscope section and get, reading Jacqueline Aguilar's uh, uh, horoscope for Pisces. And that's why I am as a Piscean person. So, born between February and March. And uh, March 4th, by the way. So, 1997. Uh, 2025 next March. Ooh, 2022. But, anyways, enough of that. This, I, I only would only listen to read the Piscean section of every. Uh, newspaper I had from the Houston Chronicle I would read them, read them down from Jacqueline Aguilar's uh, predictions from astrology or horoscope wise and before then I just knew it was as a horoscope I didn't know about astrology at that point I didn't know about that as much as religion as other than horoscope so that's all I would do, would do with this is we read one line and move on this my day I, I, whether I take it seriously or not I would just move on one day and then I got to the point in recent years where I started to really think about uh, what, what it would really mean to like get a little bit more into it so I think this year was when I started kicking off a little bit more legitimately because in the I think it was like July when I started looking up for Piscean because uh, I did I did hors horoscope stuff in like my mid mid 2010s or the early early 2010s I would look up astrology stuff for Piscean in different sources other than newspaper but I would still only do it for Piscean stuff I wouldn't do it for like uh, rising or moon or uh, Venus or whatever. I would only do it for the sun. I would only do it for the, the main sign. I would do the cafe astrology. I'd do other sources. Stuff. That was the, my early 2010s is when I started doing it for other sources in the newspaper. And then this year or last year, I started doing it for uh, um, most likely this year. I started to do it for the uh, other signs I had and looked more into that and then figured out how to go from there. There's There are some unfortunate connections I have between astrology and some of my other bad, negative lifestyles. So like for example, I can I can reveal this. I did used to use OnlyFans. I, I used to use it for like a for this one person that I didn't uh, even have a personal connection with. I just I thank gosh I didn't because it was just one it was just one person that reminded me of some other people I knew about romantic, romantically. I, I was subscribed to their OnlyFans for like twice over, once from a discount, another time for a, a, a slightly less almost as close to discount. And that, that didn't mean it can't get any worth it, but I not I just need to be me does everything for a reason. But uh, but I was subscribed to her OnlyFans based on the fact that she was an astrologer and did a lot of uh, horoscope stuff, and I was subscribed to her OnlyFans as an excuse to stay connected with both ends, or even just to just to have an excuse to be with that stuff. So now that I've had help with avoiding that uh, stuff, including my porn addiction for that matter, no fat semen touching by the way, um, that makes it hard to to get engaged with an astrology stuff, including being potentially her client. Oh, God forbid. But even if I was, it wouldn't. Be, it would still be pretty bad. But I don't know. Just uh, but you know, astrology and horoscope stuff. I just uh, you know, as far as I go back, I still f I found I found in recent that my Venus is Pisces. But I knew for a while since that Pisces was my sun, Taurus is my rising, Capricorn is my moon, and then as it's, as it goes back. However, however you guys see this stuff, I I, I don't mind. But uh, the thing was, is that with tarot readings in particular. I actually watched way too many of them. Like, I, I would watch them even at work, and I would watch them between waking up and going to sleep, and I would watch them at my, my, my uh, meals of the day, even while meditating, even as excuse not to do power-ups, mentioning other stuff in the meantime. <laughs> Olympic sprinting. 2032, 28, 28, 20, 27, 4. Paris, LA, what's the third one? I find out soon. We'll, we'll, find, we'll all find out soon some of those organizations stuff. But anyways, that's, that's beside the point. Anyways, terror readings. We, uh, I listen to way too many of them. I need to cut the crap out. I just, I, if anything, for October 2021, which I'm trying to do the all-in hunter method from Angel, the, no, from the one of the former No Fountain Sea Retention people in that community, I'm trying to figure out how to make it so that I don't uh, do too much 
against the dopamine detox aspect of things. I don't have to compl completely detox from social media or anything like that. It, especially for content creation, I guess that, that's the excuse we most people make. But I want to make sure that I'm not doing too much of anything at one point. Even if moderation doesn't go into everything, there's full throttle, there's taboo for some understandable reasons. So moderation doesn't actually go into everything, but if I, even then I could make sure that terror readings wasn't the one of the things I was compromising too much on, or using too much of. So moderation wouldn't work in that regard, but I, in the meantime, I have like the one week before I do that, and it's like, okay, so am I still listening to too many terror readings? I could cut down a little bit on them, or at least have an understandable approach to them. Like not watch the ones I don't want to watch, and watch the ones I do care about. There, is, there are some ways to differentiate between the astrologers, and I like them a lot, and compared to other ones. No, not 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 too much of a bias there, but there's, everyone has biases, honestly. So, the reason I watch too much of tarot reading is because I think I'm feeling a lack of intimacy and a a a, 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 a affluence. I'm kind of a person who just wants to feel that kind of a expression of something kinds, the romantic kinds. I do listen to a lot of the particular ro romance and love uh, tarot readings in particular, for my own reasons, I, I guess. And I do think I um. Even pay attention to the finance and career ones too, and self improvement. And uh, as if, if anyone would see tarot readings and self improvement, sometimes it can be. But you know, I'm doing other things in the meantime, so not, not letting it take over my life, but it just, but it'd be nice to t taper off a little bit from at least t tarot readings. I think I do with tarot readings. I do with like a, what I no formerly would have been doing with PMO or music. Even music, I listen to too much music. But with PMO, and, and I, yeah, I would have probably had to get off of porn addiction. But even with porn addiction, it wasn't so much that I would listen to to watch pornography literally ten plus hours a day, like. Not even with porn, like not even with music, and I wouldn't do that shit. I would do it with tarot readings. I would have like almost stuck a whole five plus hours into tarot in a single day. I'm like, what the hell? You watch a twenty minute tarot read or a five minute tarot, and then in varying amounts too, like five minute tarot reads, twenty minutes, forty minutes, over an hour. You know, like Jesus, it's insane. Wow, dude. Usually forty five minutes is okay for some standards, even for me, even if it has scary as that sounds. But I don't think I'm attached too much to the idea of, of affection with tarot reading. Or, or guidance, or even just feeling like I'm not alone, or th things can make sense. I'm, just, I'm listening to this one guy's meditation from uh, someone called uh, Greg, is it Greg Xander? He's, he's, his his uh, connections course or whatever. And it's, it's like a meditation therapy thing where I, I'm already in therapy from Better Help, by the way. I'm also in therapy. I'm also listening to Calm Meditations from the Calm app from Tamara Levin and uh, Jeff Warren. And that's all, all, all that's pretty cool, but it really is really, really, very helpful for me. And I mean, it means a lot to me. It really does. But with uh, with the 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 connections course, I I've been recent, listening recently listening to it. There's like a three day video thing he has on his channel currently from from some months ago. I watched like eight of the videos already. They're short videos and they're about like uh, now how certain things don't have meaning, how everything does not mean. No, not not not, 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 not totally nihilist perspective. I think I think when Old Sparrow told me this on Twitter, that uh that when things don't have meaning, when nihilism comes across, it can still be a good thing because that's the way you can, you have other things mean if you choose to. So you can redefine things or even not have meaning and that has opportunities that particular. So maybe that's where Old Spirit gets it from. Is that is that stuff like that? That's Gary Zander thing or Greg Zander thing where it's like uh where where he's telling me in the meditations in the videos that uh um throughout the meditation courses he does for five to ten minutes at, at per day in a th full month, you basically have to uh do these affirmations where it's like this i these items don't have meaning i assign only i assign meaning to them uh if these things are meaning that i'm assigned, the world around does not meaning and there's supposed to be understandable affirmations for positivity and, and therapeutic meditation there's, there's a reasoning behind a lot of it there really is it's just stuff like that but the connection i'm building between that and tarot reading is that with tarot reading it's it is indeed me trying to put too much emphasis on having a meaning for something else and that, and that may be a little too desperate. Maybe I'm doing it on purpose. Maybe I'm doing it on accident. Who knows? But I, I think I could I could certainly levy off a little bit on that stuff because it's not not to hurt, disgrace myself or hurt myself, but just just to make sure that I'm on on certain terms. So I just, uh, I would know better than to just be like, oh, don't watch terror readings because you're wasting your time. No, it's more like, I get, I, there's a beautiful thing that you want to be in that dreamy state. I'm a very intuitive person, as Piscean energy would suggest, as being a Taurus rising or Capricorn moon, Pisces is Venus, would suggest. And those clever videos from Atlas Astrology, which I actually like a lot of those ones, where he's depicting the year predictions and the uh, the connections between uh, Mercury retrograde and all that. Mercury retrograde, Mars retrograde, whatever. Those are recent years. Libra season that is currently entering. Piscean moon, whatever. That was last month, I think, last week. And yeah, it was, uh, tarot readings, I can taper off, but if I don't have to, it's okay. I just needed to make sure I was taking care of myself in the meantime. So that's all I got for you guys for now. That's open-ended for now. I accept you, Tony. Remember that there's nothing more beautiful than desperation, and that there's nothing more devastating than pretending not to care. 
That's the last 404 for now. I'll tell you guys in the next video for two more videos tomorrow.